Hey, welcome back to the book of Hebrews. We're in chapter 21, verses 7 to 11, reading straight on. If a man sells his daughter as a female slave, she is not to go free as the male slaves do. If she is displeasing in the eyes of her master who designated her for himself, then he shall let her be redeemed. He does not he does not have authority to sell her to a foreign people because of his unfairness to her. If he designates her for his son, he shall deal with her according to the custom of daughters. If he takes to himself another woman, he may not reduce her food, her clothing, or her conjugal rights. If he will not do these three things for her, then she shall go out for nothing without payment of money. Okay, so this is a female slave, and actually, it's not quite as much really the female slave. This is a woman who's kind of being sold to be uh, effectively a wife. Okay, so I want you to notice a couple of bits about this here uh, that so we don't get this wrong. She doesn't go out in six years because as if she's a wife, that's going to be basically a permanent thing. But I want you to know that the Bible talks about and lifts her up, God's word lifts her up so that she would be treated not as just some kind of a, a greasy concubine or something, but she's to be treated as a daughter, okay? So she has the rights of a daughter, basically, in the family. I have a note I took from the JPS commentary by Sarna on uh, the book of Exodus. Let me read it. In the ancient world, a father driven by poverty might sell his daughter into a well-to-do family in order to ensure her future security. The sale presupposes marriage to the master or his son. Documents recording legal arrangements of this kind have survived from Nuzi. The Torah stipulates that the girl must be treated as a free woman. She Should the designated husband take an additional wife, he is still obligated to support her. Any breach of this faith gains her her freedom, and the master receives no compensation for the purchase price. That's JPS Commentary, page 120. She's to be treated as a daughter, verse 9. It says right in the text, she's protected. She would be protected from sexual molestation and so on, uh, and having the rights and the privileges of the daughter, and the family would have the duty to treat her with fairness. But sort of sold to be a wife. And so, again, not everything is perfect here, but uh, coming up into a better place than just just dealing out and making people permanent slaves with no rights whatsoever. So anyway, here we have uh, something better, bigger and better than what the other nations around had by, by a long ways. And again, a, a kind of a unique situation, not a situation that pertains to every person. So we're looking at the book of Exodus and we'll carry right on tomorrow morning with some more stuff uh, carrying right on after this. See you then tomorrow morning.